Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Mary Help of Christians Parish. Today we're celebrating the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The celebrant for this Mass is Father Freddy Yara. Please stand up wherever you are. God bless you. This place, new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanished away. See in this space, our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the cross of the lame. Call to us now. And we shall awaken, we shall arise at the sound of our name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my previous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Most, you, are the, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O you who are thirsty, Come to the water, you who have no money. Come, receive grain and eat. Come without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heat me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The, the hand, hand of, of the Lord, Lord feeds us. us. He, he answers, answers all our needs. needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. 
The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord fits us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The hand of the Lord fits us. He answers all our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or fame or nakedness or peril or the sword? No. In all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor higher, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowd heard of this and followed him and fled from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up, the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, sometimes we listen some phrases that we say sometimes such as, give me a hand. When we are in trouble, we say to another person, give me a hand. Please help me. Give me a hand. There is another phrases that we use when we go maybe to the barber to get a haircut. We put into the barbers our head, in trust, and we say, okay, I put my haircut into your hands. When we fly in an airplane, we, we know that they are pilots, and we say, we put our lives into the hands of the pilot. And sometimes, and so on, we also go to the hospital, and we say, okay, we put our, our health 
in the hands of the doctors. Well, today is a day to remember to put everything we have and everything we are into the hands of the Lord. In today's Holy Gospel, we see that Jesus multiplies the bread and the fish because the bread and the fish were given into the hands of the Lord. So today, when you think that maybe some of the sources, the human sources that we have are limited, we are going to trust in the Lord that in Him, His sources are unlimited, that He has abundance to give us. In so far as we trust in Him and we put everything in His hands, miracles will come. Maybe the disciples, they say, okay, we only have five bread and two fish. That's not enough to feed thousands of people. But Jesus allowed them sometimes to think that way, that the more they think that the human sources are not enough, they can trust and receive the miracle in Jesus. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that today can be a day to lift up our eyes to God. It says that Jesus lifts his eyes. He rose his eyes to God and blessed the bread and the fish. And the little became a lot. So let us pray that in moments of doubts, in moments of struggles, in moments of suffering, in moments in which we think to give up, Jesus, help us. Because we today put everything in God's hands. Brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, with hopeful hearts, we bring our needs to God whose love is stronger than death and who nourishes us with the bread of life. We pray for today's mass intentions. We pray for the repose of the soul of Ignacio Castellano, Angelo Cimento, Thomas Tamburino. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. We pray for the repose of the soul of Adeline and Stephen Jarocki. Intentions of the Delbon family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayers. We pray also for Michael Sanford, Maria Sari, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
And for the repose of the soul of Ignacio Castellano, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also that may the Lord help us and protect us from the storm that is about to come today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we bring you these needs today, confident in the power of your love and the abundance of your generosity. Through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bounds of death and manifest that resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare you glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dufo, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Say this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Say this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, each share spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of that resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all is yours forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you. That with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. pray accompany with constant protection O Lord those you renewed with these heavenly gifts and in your never failing care for them made them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen Stay in peace. Thanks be to God. Take the word of God with you as you go. Take the seeds of God's word and may them grow. Go in peace to serve the world. In peace to serve the world. Take the love of God, the love of God with you as you go.